I'm Carl101, and today we are going to be starting a brand new walkthrough called Earthbound. Actually, the game would be called Earthbound, but you get the point. So let's get started here. Uh, we're going to start with the uh, third file here. We're going to use uh, Plain Flavor because Plain Favor, fla Favor, Flavor, Flavor, Favor, Flavor is awesome. Anyways. We're going to use the generic names of Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Pooh. Then we're going to name the dog King. And then we see him for all five minutes or so. Whatever. We're going to use Steak. Steak's okay. Rockin's pretty awesome, though. If you could, you could cycle through uh, more don't cares though, like it'll choose other foods or other cool things to do. But you know. as we look upon a town in the the night, the year is 1990x. It is incorrect because the year is 2011, and shortly coming to 2012. Onet, a small town in Eagle Land. I popular to believe it could also be called Onet. However, I will be pronouncing it Onet. I will just I'll explain why in later times. As we look upon a house, Ness's house. As it becomes quiet with the little Z's there. Showing him, showing us that we're that he is sleeping. And then there's some gigantic explosion outside. Normal video game logic, you know, just sleeping and all of a sudden explosions happen. Anyways, so let's go exploring around the house first because that's the fun thing to do. This is Ness's sister, Tracy. Uh, a little, little freak out, you know. Big explosion. Nothing too serious, though. No, Mom will not let you stay up late tonight. Sorry. Okay, so we can go explore, or we can go, um, examine presents and open them and take stuff in them. Just like any video game pretty much allows you to do. What we got in there was actually, uh, our first weapon that we can equip, which is the crack bat, which, uh, gives us a little bit of, a. Uh, Offensive advantage actually gives us a, a defensive. Oh no, it doesn't. No win. I'm being stupid. It gives us a four point offensive advantage, which is pretty good, especially for a level one. It's one of those few games where you actually start off as level one. Of course, that could be false because most games that I or most RPGs that I used to play started off at like level seven. But regardless of the point, um, the noise was some explosion, and uh, yeah, I'm nuts. Yeah, I kind of do want to go check it out. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <sighs> Dang it, Mom. Why do you got to be like that? Why do you got to be like that? I don't think Mom says anything. Oh, be careful. Fair enough. Dog says something, too. Because I need to go check stuff out. It's important. All right, let's go ahead and talk to people. That sucks for you. I think that guy's got like he's either got glasses on or he's got here or his eyes are really drawn badly or weirdly. And yes, I heard the big bang. You better hurry up and stop standing around. I don't know if we can get in the house, can we? Oh, yes, we can. You know, I've never actually done that before. But uh, I'll explain that a little bit later, too, as far as what I meant, meant by that. This is the fun you can have in like when you go through a game again. Cuz you can do stuff that you don't really normally do.
No, it won't stop me. I'm gonna go regardless, so. I like how police officers are just kind of standing around out here. It's like, you know, they're just gonna chill out, you know? And no, I don't know what time it is. Actually, it's, uh, 9.26 p.m. A bread roll! Food! In this game, food give, uh, revives your HP down there, which I'll also explain a little bit later, too. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. <laughs> See? It went boom! No, I have not checked your billboard. Something suspicious about this guy, the billboard guy. Treasure hunter, this is Liar Exaggerate's house. Funny. You know, it does look uh, rather strange and marvelous and mysterious and ooh, particularly because it looks like a pizza, a tasty one at that. So this is Pokey. I gotta talk to him. I uh, can't progress the game if we don't, so. Why am I bugging the officers? But whatever. Most of these people don't really say much of anything exciting. I don't think there's anything over here, but we can always go check. Oh, never mind. This is where we're supposed to go. I'm being stupid. Ignore me. Okay, so now that we've returned back to home, we can talk to Mother. Scooting off to bed. Later that night. Somebody's knocking at the door. Of course, do this really loud knock, I should say. Uh, we are forced to go figure out who is who the heck is knocking at uh, 9.28 p.m. right now. See, even Trace was like, it's an annoying knock. It's like, cut, don't cut, don't cut, don't cut. Did not know he said that either. <laughs> so Pokey is at the door, and he has something to say. So we have to listen to him. Certainly wasn't his fault. Definitely not. Fine. Let's go help him. Gotta say goodbye to mother again. I know the feeling of an unreliable dog. I have one. His name is Shadow. I already got the cracked bat in Tracy's room. <sighs> Gotta always change. I, I just want to go in the jammies, okay? Actually, uh, one thing that we can do now is talk to Tracy. And she'll give you a cookie. Uh, she can also hang on to stuff throughout the game. Uh, like, if you have too much stuff in your inventory, you can give her stuff to hold on to, in case, like, you know, if it's some rare item that doesn't have any use until way later in the game, you can always do that. But anyways, so we talked to Pokey. Actually, 
actually, we gotta talk to King there in order to get him to join. You don't actually have to bring King along. Um, it won't matter regardless. So, up to you. Talk to Mom just because. Don't know what her problem is, but whatever. And the phone is ringing! So we go and answer it. It's dead! Dad's job is to save the game and tell you how much money uh, your bank account has. Not a pretty exciting job, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, it's important to save regardless of the fact if, like, you know, you're playing or not, because the save uh, determines where you end up when you die or something like that, so, uh, very important to do. So, we now can uh, encounter enemies, like this crow here, with psychedelic backgrounds to fight them with. So, since we can't really do much of anything, uh, we're just gonna smat or uh, bash. Do uh, a nice 9 HP to it, which is pretty good so far, actually. It does have a big, a big grin on his face, not gonna lie, it's a pretty hilarious grin, too. Uh, the cracked bet has some kind of uh, a miss ratio to it because I just missed two out of three of the hits or the attacks. Make it uh, I, I, I've attacked it one out of four times. One out of five times. <laughs> this is it's some payback. A smash attack is basically like a critical hit. Uh, you want those, you don't want regular attacks, because, you know, smash attacks are better. Uh, smash attacks are, are rarer. And that came out weird, but whatever. Anyways, we got a cookie out of that, which is pretty nice. Moving on! Walking along the path, walking along the path. Hey, another crow. In my opinion, or well, really any RPG opinion of this game, I would suggest that you uh, fight everything that you see, unless you're like severely dying and you don't want to waste items, then try to run for it. Uh, the reason why you want to fight everything is so you can continue continuously level up nicely and easily, so you don't have to like sit there and grind for hours on end, which uh, some people might do regardless if you want to go to like level 100. But, uh, nothing really to talk about at this point, right? like, like, the point, you get to that point when you get, like, maybe two-thirds of the way into this game, and you're like, ah, I don't feel like, you know, going through nerve fighting and everything I see, but oh well, I'm rambling now. I don't know what's up with these crows, but, like, I can't hit them at all. I finally won after, like, three hours of the battling that. Another cookie. Sweet. Level ups. Offensive is your, you know, offensive or attack. Uh, HP is HP. Uh, PP we'll explain later. And I realize, well, I can explain it now, I guess. Uh, life up A. So you can also use, like, um, I guess you could call it magic. In this case, it'd be cure. Or if you were thinking of a Final Fantasy's perspective. But, you know, if you use that, you can use, uh, or you can return some HP. And that requires uh, the psychic points or PP at the bottom there. Anyways, we are out of time, so I'm going to end the video now. So I will see you next time. Bye!